Welcome to Hungry Mind, where we help you build production software with Flutter. Today, we will cover the infamous debate of try catch versus return values. Should I use try catch to throw an exception or return an error to the function? It's one of those debates that can divide a room of developers. Let's go through an overview of both and explain which one we choose. Let's start with try catch. When you are calling an external API with HTTP client, you will commonly see an exception called socket exception. If the fetch data function needs to return a string, we should use a try catch and specifically catch the socket exception to inform the calling function that there was a network issue. This might seem like a small thing, but it's important. If we propagate this message to the user, they can check to make sure they are connected to the internet. If we didn't do this, they would get a general error and have no idea what's going on. Now, return values are a bit different. The previous HTTP scenario doesn't work because Dart doesn't have built-in return values to handle errors. Return value error handling is not built into the language like it is in other languages such as Rust. But you can create your own return value handling. First, we have to define what types of returns we should have. In this case, we have two subclasses named OK and Error. This code is directly taken from the Flutter architecture documentation. Here's a really simple function using return values. If you get an error, you return an error type with a message. If you don't have an error, you would return an OK type with a message. Then you would handle the return with a switch case to enforce handling of the error. Now you're forced to handle this error within your code, unlike try catch. There are quite a lot of packages that already have result-based classes implemented, such as multiple result to result dart. Using one of these packages can simplify the process of having multiple types of return values. There are pros and cons with both. You could argue, since a result-based system is not built into Dart, means you shouldn't use it. Others argue that the benefits of return-based error handling make error handling explicit, which leads to fewer side effects in your code. The main downside is the lack of chaining for return-based error handling. You can quickly run into deep nesting of functions and their return types. Opt to use try catch when dealing with APIs. If there is a need for chaining errors, this is the place you are likely to do it. Lower down in the stack, for example in view models, avoid using try catch for error handling. We want to explicitly enforce handling of any potential issue. If any issues arise here, either notify the user or handle it. Like always in software, the correct answer of when to use try catch versus return values is that it depends on the situation. A good approach is to start with try catch and introduce result based error handling as you see fit. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn how to build production ready Flutter apps, check out the best Flutter course at hungrymind.com.